In this video, we retrieve the user ID from the URL of the browser and we will pass it to the REST API in order to get the user information. First, we have to inject the active root service and we can get the ID from the snapshot.params property. We can now get the user data by using a simple RESTful API. I save the result in a class property and now I can display some user data in the template. We have to use the optional chaining operator since user can be undefined. This approach works perfectly, but if we try to insert three buttons to change the URL with a new user ID, we will have to use an imperative approach to get the new user data. For example, we can create a method to change the URL and make a call to the REST API again. But we can do much better. The activated root service also provides the params property and this is an observable, so we can subscribe to it, retrieve the ID parameter and make a call to the API. I can remove some code we don't need anymore and go ahead. Now we can simply use the router link directive to change the ID in the URL and the params observable will automatically receive the new parameter. And we have now implemented the reactive approach. However, using nested subscription is a bad practice and our code is more confusing and difficult to debug. For this reason, we can use the merge map or also the switch map operator to subscribe an observable when parameters change and we will use the HTTP client to retrieve user data. Now, every time parameters change, we will automatically get the new user data. Finally, we can create a user property to hold the HTTP call and subscribe it directly into the template using the sync pipe. We also use the ngfs in order to avoid multiple HTTP calls.